Nah. One, two. Oh, this shit ain't easy. And now I'm on my way to the infamous Baseline Studios. We're in New York, baby. A lot of pictures, a lot of action, a lot of music. You know, we got it all. You know what I'm saying? You're at odds. You never know what's going to happen in New York. You just got to be ready for it when it happens. It's like you never know who you'll run into. You never know who will recognize you. What? They know who you are at 4 in the morning. You gotta be ready to defend yourself against it sometimes. Cha-ching, don't forget my name. My name is Cha-ching, nigga. They call me Cha-ching. You walking down to go see Jeff. He got a crazy joint for him. Some hip-hop anthem type shit. This is where history went down. And tonight, me and Jeff are recording our second joint we ever did together. Right there, everybody got a camera. Ryan just came up with a new concept. Oh, shit. I want you to do some shit for me, right? Jeff gave me this track. I told him, look, I want it to be a b-boy anthem and something that like people could break dance to. And he was like, I got it. <laughs> and I wrote some raps. I mean, like the raps was good, but I, I don't know what happened that day. I went in to record. Yeah. The most slept on, hip hop crept on Can't stop now, nah, heart made a Teflon Fresh from the womb of the streets, I'm just ball Blaze this track, I just put just I'll do it again, do it again I remember I couldn't get the words right Still got the Porsche keys Do it again I fulfill you Do it again, do it again I wasn't delivering it right Lady, uh, no nah. White girls, uh, do it again Especially, uh, uh Party people. I don't know what was wrong, but I spent like hours like rearranging. Slow it up, speed it up, speed it up, slow it down on, on different points. Maybe it should be a little bit more laid back, a little bit more personality. Nah, ain't it. But the beat is already doing that, dude. You need to do that, too. I'll do the white girl again. I walk with God with, ah, fuck. And then Jeff just kind of walked out and just didn't say anything. <laughs> it was embarrassing. I was frustrated. <laughs> And usually I work my way through it. I'm like, I'm not giving up. I'm, I'm gonna finish it. I'm gonna stay all night. And it just didn't happen, you know. That's right. You wanna hit some rockets? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, not this one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when you a rapper, and it happens when you just can't get it out, it won't happen. You start being like, Am I even doing the right thing? Like, am I even supposed to like be doing this with life? And that was one of the moments because. You so used to stuff just coming like that, your own ego starts making you feel invincible. And so when you don't do whatever your ego told you you were, then you be like, well, maybe I'm not who my ego told me I am. And if I'm not that, then who am I? Well, I went back to Chicago and I went and tried it again. The whole idea of this song was like B-Boy Anthem. So what's the best way to pull off a B-Boy Anthem? Bring some B-Boys. Call Chicago Tribe. Ask them to come in. Just while I recorded the song or what have you. They came in and it was like magic. The pressure was gone. It flowed. And as it flowed, I realized, damn, I got this huge show coming up this summer. 10,000 people at Lollapalooza. And I'm going to kill the crowd with this particular song. How y'all feeling, Chicago? Mexico? It was so crazy. Exactly what I envisioned it to be in my mind is what it turned into once we went on stage. crowd lifted me up over a beat to try to put you down under the earth. It's like my hand was being lifted in the air like you won, bro. It was the B-Boy anthem. And guess what I'm ready to do now? One, two. Check one. Six. Six. Check one. 
One, two. Six, six, nine. Mix three. One, two. Six, six. One, two. Chuck. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> One, two. Oh, this shit ain't easy. Just <sighs> 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 I'm gonna stick to it. <sighs> 